Hey, what's up, you guys? How about a quick tour of a pretty typical older style telephone backboard? So this would be mostly the D mark area. So it's kind of start at the top and go go down. I got my little laser pointer. So these little boxes right here most likely are not in use. Those are circuit smart jacks. So they might have had like a a T1 or partial T1 delivered on those boxes right there. Um, this big green thing in the middle is referred to as, as the pop point of presence. Um, oftentimes in slang it's referred to as a can, C-A-N, like, like you know the can. And generally, I won't say that it's not, I haven't been in there before, but you're not supposed to go in there unless you work for the phone company. But sometimes I, I have been known to open that up. Okay, now over here in the middle is what are called the D-mark blocks. And D-mark blocks are the point where the, the line or, or circuit is cross-connected from the can over to the blocks and then that's where the service is delivered to the customer. And so usually there's two sides. There's the, there's the telephone company side and there's the customer side. The customer connects on that side. Those two blue blocks right there, those are some kind of inside wiring, whereas that stuff is customer premises equipment type thing. Um, down here is a couple of routers um, that are fed by, looks like fiber. Yeah, I've got fiber going into those. Um, down here is a big old UPS. That's actually not something you normally see on a backboard, but I think the UPS is there to keep the to keep the those fiber circuits and routers uh, switches going. That right there is also a can, but it's not a copper can. It's a fiber handoff. And then actually down here is a little bit more fiber. I'm not sure. You can see the yellow conduit. So that's probably, this is the can that has the fiber service. And it looks like it comes out the bottom there and that little yellow flex hose. And that's probably the, the DMARC handoff to the customer. And then, yeah, okay, so you can see then that goes into... Looks like that's probably what's feeding that that router right there, that little uh, fiber uh, SFP on there. So let's see, that that also is a fiber handoff of some sort. Yeah, because you can see that's coming back here. So there's another fiber D mark. Now there's something old. I know you can't read it. It says ISDN. I'm deliberately staying back just to respect my customers' privacy because I don't want to give away all their phone numbers and circuit numbers. So anyway, and then that thing right there, some kind of a handoff. Okay, so that, okay, I see. So the fiber feeds this router switch thing here, and then the copper ethernet connection, that blue cable comes and feeds that patch panel. That probably goes to somewhere else in the store. This is a really large warehouse is where I'm working at. So they've got about like maybe, oh, eight phone lines. Um, and then these, these two routers here. As far as these circuits, I'm almost positive those are probably all turned off. That was something that was probably a little more common back about oh, 15 years ago. So anyway, that's a pretty common thing you will find uh, in commercial environments. This, like the reason I said older is because this, this has been here since about, I don't know, the year 2000 or, or a little bit after. So there's a lot of stuff on here that's like been installed, but nobody ever comes back to take it after it's been, been uh, decommissioned. All right, I hope that helps you be a little more informed. Thanks for watching.